Welcome back boys, Fabloons, he's coming at you neck with another discussion video. Um, this video is just going to be a life update, honestly, I just want to talk to you guys. I feel like I don't really ever get to talk to you guys, so I kind of want to just let you guys know what's going on in my life a little bit and just kind of talk about, you know, some things I want to do for the channel. And real quick, before I go on, what you're seeing right now is actually the current seasonal event for Destiny 2, it's Season of Arrivals. This public event is called Contact. It's pretty much, well, if you have any experience with Destiny, it's pretty much Gambit, but public event style. It's actually really fun. Um, I really enjoy it, so hopefully you guys enjoy what you guys see right here. Um, but yeah, let me just uh, start with a couple of life updates. So number one, um, I just started a new job, um, working at a gym, just doing facility maintenance, pretty much just like cleaning up, just like making sure the gym is, you know, in, in shape, in order, making sure there's no weights on the ground and stuff, making sure everything is sanitized because of the current, you know, global health crisis that's going on. We got to sanitize. I would say once every like two hours, but I think we do it more than that because sometimes there's just nothing to do, <laughs> if I'm being honest. Um, but this job is pretty good. And with that being said, I, I kind of want to um, let you guys know that if my content isn't uh, isn't at, at like the standard that I usually do it at, it's because of that. I, mean, I come home, I'm tired. Um, until I adjust to my new schedule with this job and the content creating, um, I hope my content might not be at the quality that it normally is and I want to apologize in advance for that. I'm going to keep trying to upload every single day. It's my goal to upload every single day. I know you guys enjoy that and I know you guys appreciate that. So I'm going to uh, try and provide that for you. But uh, if things start to kind of like shift a little bit, now you guys know why I just started a new job. Um, so yeah, there's that. Another thing that's happening in my life is I'm going to move soon. Um, me and my mom and my brother, we're going to get an apartment pretty soon. Um, we're just waiting on like the application to go through and stuff like that, waiting for it to process. So I'm going to be moving. I started a new job. There's a lot of stuff going on in my life and I'm trying to do my YouTube at the same time. So I need you guys to bear with me a little bit, um, but I'm really excited to move, man. It's, it's a great apartment, really nice apartment, man. And we got a good deal on it too. Um, so I'm really excited about that. Now I'm still keeping up with my mainly plant-based diet. I wouldn't say I'm fully vegan, but uh, I don't eat meat. I definitely don't eat meat. I just don't check my food for anything that's animal byproducts because, as you guys know, if you're vegan, you also don't eat anything that is made by an animal, such as milk, uh, certain cheeses, um, eggs, and stuff like that. I do eat eggs sometimes. I don't really drink milk. I don't like it. But uh, having to check everything for that is kind of annoying. Like, for instance, I went to make a peanut butter and jelly when I was first starting, and jelly... Uh, isn't vegan friendly it, it's made with gelatin and gelatin is made with I think like animal bones or, or something like that something that has to do with animals and It's kind of annoying always having to look at your food um, So I'm just pretty much not eating meat and that's pretty straightforward. I mean you can't really mistake a piece of meat, right? Um, so that's that's going that's what's going on with that. Uh, it feels really good um, it's been about a month since I decided to change and I feel really good about myself. I, I don't feel ever feel bloated when I eat. I don't wake up feeling groggy or, you know, I don't, when I eat, I don't feel like slow afterwards. I feel good. And uh, in case you guys are wondering what made me change my mind, watch the documentary Game Changers on Netflix. It is crazy the, the amount of benefits you get from not eating meat and eating plant-based is crazy. So just go ahead and watch that and hopefully you guys do the same and it's really beneficial. Now plans for my channel. Recently I made a video called Let's Talk, which if you haven't seen, definitely go check that out. It's about me returning, uh, not fully, of course, like I said, uh, that the Bleeding Edge content is still gonna be here. I know that's why you guys subscribe to me, but I'm hoping that you guys will support this decision. Also, I want to start making Destiny content again because when I first made my channel, my goal was to become a Destiny content creator. And I feel like if I don't, if I still don't try and do that, I'm going to kind of cheat myself out of something that I wanted to do for a long time, ever since I played the game really back in 2014. So I think I owe it to myself to try it at least. So I'm going to do Bleeding Edge and Destiny. I know those games are two completely different games, but maybe if you guys watch my content, maybe you guys decide to try Destiny. Destiny is free to play. Um, you'll just need to buy the DLC. There's two packs right now. I think you can get them both together. I think it'll be like $36 or something like that after tax and whatever, which is worth it because they're both full of content. And But the base game is free. So if you just want to try it out, which I mean, it's not 
the free to play version isn't really what destiny is you need the dlc to really experience it in full but if you just want to give a test run and just try i mean you'll get this free uh public event from the season you'll get the dungeon which there's a new dungeon um, there's a new dungeon I, I have to make a video about that but i'm not high enough level to really do it so just give me some time um but yeah i'm looking forward to making builds looking forward just to making stuff around the game and whatnot so i hope you guys are excited to see that as well um, for Bleeding Edge, I'm looking forward to m the Makutu rework. I'm, I'm curious to see what the devs have in store for that. I'm also curious to see what the devs have for the future in this game. I hope they add a ranked mode. Um, I wonder if they'll ever add a roll queue, which I doubt, but who knows. I'm excited to see new heroes, man. Like, new heroes are sick. I know Mecha was kind of teased since the game launched, but now we're in uncharted territories. You know, anything that they release now, we have no idea about. So maybe, you know, who knows? Maybe it'll be a support that's wild, wild out there. I don't know. It's, you know, there's so many ideas that devs can come up with, and they're super creative. I mean, look at the game. You got uh, a cyber, cyberly enhanced, I don't even know if that's the word, cybernetic enhanced uh, ninja. You got like Maeve, who's like a grandma wizard, like tech wizard or whatever. And there's so many ideas that they can come up with, and I'm excited to see what they have in store. Um, and just like new maps, new game modes. I would love to see a team deathmatch. You know, I would love to see just King of the Hill, pure King of the Hill. So there's a lot of things I'm looking forward to that I hope the devs implement. And I'm definitely going to be around to make content for that stuff. One of the things that I would really like Bleeding Edge to do and the devs to implement is making the game go free to play. I really think that it'll benefit the game greatly because it's a new game and people aren't willing to really shot $30 to try something that they never heard of either. So if they went free to play and they implemented implemented like a uh, like a battle pass system that Fortnite has and For Honor and whatever, I think uh, I think it'll bring a lot of eyes to the game and it'll get the attention it deserves because the game is great. You know, of course there's a little kinks and you know whatnot. There's there's a little rough patches, but once they smooth everything out, there's no more lag problems. You know, they fix the levers problem and they add like a ranked mode and just make it overall better. I think this game will really do well and it'll take off like it should. I think it should have done that from the beginning, but of course you know there wasn't enough marketing and whatnot. And on a side note, I know you guys were curious about the Crucible content, like I said I was going to do, but unfortunately my PC wasn't strong enough to, you know, withstand recording and playing the game at the same time. It was really uh, GPU intensive, so I wasn't able to record it, but that's alright because I was looking at it the other day and it doesn't look like it's doing too well. I was looking at the, the Twitch numbers and there was only like 40 people streaming it, or 40 viewers, sorry. And um, I don't know, I'm glad I, I'm glad I didn't waste my time and, you know, try and make content in that game. I mean, I made like two videos, I think, but I uh, stuck with Bleeding Edge, so I'm really happy about that. So yeah, that's what happened with that, just pretty much my computer wasn't strong enough. But maybe that was a blessing in disguise, you know, who knows. Now, as far as what you guys would like to see, definitely let me know um, if there's anything you guys want me to do specifically with Destiny 2 or Bleeding Edge. For instance, if you guys want me to maybe start streaming more, which might be a little hard because my schedule right now is pretty packed. But uh, if there's anything I can do, like if maybe I can make a video playing with you guys. I wish there was a custom game mode because I would host tournaments and stuff like that would be awesome, right? That would be so cool if I could host tournaments and just have like a viewers like little four on four game mode or something like that. I don't know. Um, but if there's anything I can do, if you guys want to see maybe like some kind of special builds or just like a new a new series um, with Destiny 2 if you guys want to know like how to actually get into it I'll make a little like new light guide um, just like showing you the basics and stuff because the new light quest system uh, it doesn't really show you the efficient way to play Destiny it just shows you this is what you do and it kind of throws you in there and for somebody who's never played it before it can be overwhelming there's so much to do and there's so it's such a big game you know so if you guys need help with that let me know <clears throat> we can also maybe play together do the public event uh maybe run some strikes some nightfalls just let me guys know, let me know what you guys want uh to see me do what content you guys want me to create because without you guys i wouldn't even be able to do this you know i wouldn't have 450 subs i wouldn't be getting all these views if it wasn't for you so thank you guys and i just want you guys to feel more engaged in my channel and feel like you guys are actually involved because you are and uh without you guys i wouldn't be growing you know the way i am so i appreciate you guys but there's a little life update for me and kind of where I want to take my channel and what I'm thinking. 
I hope that gives you guys a little bit of insight into how I think and just what's going on in my life. You know, I want, I want you guys to feel connected and stuff. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that. I mean, I enjoyed doing this. You know, I enjoyed talking to you guys, even though I'm just talking to a mic. It feels like I'm talking directly to you guys. So I appreciate you guys for listening and I appreciate you guys for continuing to watch my content. It really means a lot to me. But if you enjoy this content, please like, subscribe, and share. It truly helps me out a lot. You can also check out my other videos. Links are in the description below. I have a lot of crazy builds in there and some fun matches and stuff. Some Destiny 2 stuff is coming, so go ahead and be on the lookout for that. And you might as well follow my social media. Links are in the description below. I have a Twitter and an Instagram, both at fan underscore But with all that being said, deuces.